Hey friends, hope you're doing well. Hope you got your coffee, if you drink coffee. I usually say, I hope you got your coffee with you, and then I'll qualify it. Last week, I think I forgot to say that, and I caught all kinds of hell from people who don't drink coffee, and that's cool, man, that's cool. If you don't drink coffee, you can still hang out with me. And, uh, I made a documentary. I posted it yesterday, it was published yesterday. Made it with Todd Snyder, and um, I want to talk a little bit about it, but I want you to see it. It's completely free, and I'll post a link when I'm done here so you can see it. A lot of you guys hung out for the premiere, and we had like a, there's a chat thing in the side. I've never done that before. I've never live streamed. I never really understood why people did. It didn't really appeal to me that much. And um, while I'm sitting here for an hour, kind of like doing a little chat thing with folks, with the people who you know are the most hardcore diehards of the channel, I really enjoyed it, and the time went by really quick. And I thought, oh, maybe this is why people do that. Okay, I get it. And um, I enjoyed that. Some of you guys here, I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this right now were there yesterday, and it was a lot of fun. And um, I had hundreds of comments on this thing, you know, quite a few, and there was not one single asshole in the whole group not one nobody said anything just to be a jackass or whatever and if there's anything that i'm most proud of with this thing this little experiment that i've done for the last couple years on here is i build a community where there's nobody just coming in i mean i'm not attracting assholes which is really nice just people like people want to have fun and not have to worry about a bunch of you know, jack legs coming in. Uh, so good for you guys. I, now that I say that, I'm going to get trolled left and right. But uh, it was a nice experience. And I hope it was a nice experience for you guys. Just a little quick backstory on that documentary. Um, Todd and I, I think I said this when I posted the video on Facebook. Todd and I talked a lot about the idea of busking and how he has this really neat way of looking at it and um, he was would say it a little bit different than me but it's the same spirit that i've always talked to people like when you talk to younger artists about um signing record deals and things like that if it didn't seem like a good deal you know walk away from it and uh he's like they need you you know you don't need them you can go busk and make a living you can stand out on a street corner and play your songs, you're good at it, because they want you. You can just go do that and make a living. And um, unless you have some kind of a weird trip about wanting to be famous, which if somebody wants to be famous, I cannot help them at all. That's like one of the most lousy things to try to achieve. You can go shoot someone and become famous. There's no, there's no good in just you know striving for fame. But if you want to lead a creative life and try to make a living with that, you can always busk. So when you're entering into, enter into different agreements with companies and such, always keep that in your mind. Like, I don't really need this, do I? You know, and then you'll end up making better decisions. Like, well, maybe this is a good deal because, you know, you've weighed it to where you can walk away from it. Anyway, this idea of busking, it's like, not just standing on a street corner, but a way to lead a creative life. And uh, I've always looked at when I make a record or something like that, I've had moments in my life, we'll say I naturally lean this way anyway, and um, I've had moments in my life when it would be reinforced really hard when I was going down a certain road. I remember, I won't go too, in, too deep into it because I don't want to get off track. But when we start talking about making a film or whatever, you could go the traditional routes and then you end up with these third parties that you have to appeal to, to be able to, there's always a gatekeeper and you spend all of this effort trying to convince them that whatever you're doing might be worthy and, uh, and they can open up a larger audience and all of that. But, um, 
a car came by blaring music, so there might have been a weird edit there. But you spend all this time trying to impress these third parties, and I'm not saying they're bad people. Um, they can be very good people, but they're busy, and they have a lot of other things on their mind, and they don't need to be worrying about your thing. And uh, so you spend all of this effort trying to impress them. And I could have been spending that effort just simply taking this thing and taking it right to the people. That's the way I've usually done things. And uh, created an audience. You know, there's an audience that watches this show. That's my distribution. So Todd, let's make, you know, this film that we want to make. And I'll just do all of this. Me and my buddy Todd Fox filmed every bit of that. And uh, then I edited, I did everything else and threw it together. And either I'll be good at it or I won't. But I'm talking to Todd Snyder about this. I'm like, well, this is the sort of thing somebody needs to do these things in the world. And who's going to do it if we don't? This is a fun thing to document. And when we're gone, this will live on. And people will be glad that we did it. That has value. That has worth. And, uh, so there are people out there, which you guys, that I think will watch this and enjoy it. And then you'll tell a couple friends about it, and this thing will live on through you guys spreading the word. And it'll be right there on YouTube for people to watch whenever they want to watch it for free. And um, good things will come of that. I don't make any money from it at all. I turned all the ads off on it, mainly because there's some cover songs in there and they'll be claimed anyway. So if you see ads on that documentary, it's because the people who own the rights to the cover songs are taking the money. And that's rightfully so. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I felt like it was a more accurate uh, film if we included those this time. I just feel like it was the, the right thing to do this time and that means I won't make money off of it and that's fine, but I'm gonna to try to do it again sometime and I'll approach it differently to where I can make money. But a lot of you, I put, I uploaded that to Patreon about a week ago, to my Patreon uh, supporters and my channel members and uh, people really enjoyed it. They got to have a, an early witness of it and um, it's really cool to get that perspective and to be able to share that a little bit early and they make this stuff possible. So if you want to support me on Patreon or channel members, that'd be beautiful. Or even the tip jar or whatever, but you don't have to. If you just want to watch stuff and enjoy it, that's cool too. But it's out in the world. You know, we took time to do it and I feel really good about that. I should also say that this film Todd and I were making a different film, Todd Snyder and I, and I went to Memphis to film some stuff for it. I'm not gonna talk about what it is, but there's another one that will come down the road somewhere. And um, I was going to Memphis working on that. So while Todd is there playing this benefit for WEVL, this uh, radio station that was great to him early on, and he's seeing these people that he used to play music with in Nervous Rex, and especially, especially Keith Sykes, there was this wonderful thread of Todd paying tribute to Keith Sykes and everything that he meant to him in his life. And I was just thinking, man, this is, this is really interesting stuff. And I think that people ought to witness that. And I'm filming it, thinking it might work for the other thing that I'm working on. And it's not. And I have all this stuff. And uh, at some point I said something to to Todd Snyder, I'm like, hey man, what if uh, we turn this into its own film? And that's a great idea, you know? So I went ahead and put all of this together first and then the next film will be somewhere down the road that uh, we're working on. I'm really proud of it. I'm glad I get to share it with the world. And um, Todd and I both are really proud of it. My buddy Todd Fox was just a huge, huge help in all of this. and. Uh, a lot of the beautiful shots that you see in that were Todd behind the camera. And, um, you know, a lot of them were me too. If I can pat myself on the back a little bit. But um, we were kind of proud. We've wanted to do this thing, me and my buddy Todd Fox, we've wanted to do things like this for a long, long time where we used to travel around, take photos of things. We have the photographic eye and an understanding of how the camera works, mainly because he taught me those things along the way. and. Um, it's beautiful to be able to do this and share that with him 
and um, try to figure out a way to maybe make it sustainable or do it more often and um, share it through the channel. Just another way to share things and preserve history in this channel. And um, there's that less blanks, less blank style that I really love, like the old Lightning Hopkins film that he made or uh, Gap Tooth Women, where you you document this moment in time. You're not telling people's life, sto life stories. There's something happening over the course of a few days and you're there witnessing it and the audience can witness it also. And I really like that style and that's something I feel like I can do. And um, I feel like there's a little bit of what I do with interviews that go along with that. So all of that goes into that film and um, just a lot of our approach using old lenses from the 1960s to try to take the the digital feel off of things and uh, in the same way that people would use tube preamps uh, when they're recording digitally albums or whatever same sort of thing you know, old microphones that kind of deal and um so it gave gave it that kind of feel and we hope to continue to do this sort of thing and um i don't know i'd love to be able to just like throw these on a channel one after the other and all that but it takes time and it takes a lot of effort but I seriously, seriously appreciate you guys um, watching that, all the nice things you've said. It's been great. And um, I'm gonna cut it short right here because today is Amy's birthday and we're gonna go do Amy stuff. And uh, I'm not gonna think about YouTube you know, or anything like that while we do. And um, if you'd like to say something nice in the comments, wish Amy a happy birthday. I'll be sure and read all those to her, and uh, she'll get a kick out of it. And if you want to send a couple dollars to PayPal or Venmo or whatever, I'll make sure she uh, buys herself something nice. I joked and said, well, maybe we can get you, you know, some nice vacuum cleaner bags or some floor mats for the car or something. And she just kind of rolled her eyes, and she knows I'm kidding. But anyway, I'm going to put that, for the YouTube viewers, I'm going to put that right up here, the link to that. And um, if you're watching this anywhere else, I might post this on Facebook. And um, the link will be down in the comments where you can watch the documentary. Watch it. And watch it all the way through. And more people will find it. But man, thank you so much for being here. And I'll catch you somewhere down the road. Much love to you.